Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Ebe Kayode. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clean up your dirty background. So open your image in Photoshop. So you can see how dirty the background is looking at the love from the camera first and foremost and from the baby oil and the body that she rub off of the background so first thing first what we want to start with is to use our patch tool but before we do that we duplicate this layer let's duplicate this layer into two uh, two days so we can um, we can have something to fall back to so on the very first layer that we duplicated we want to pick the patch tool and gradually drag this to the problem area to a clean area drag the problem area to a clean area and bam and that's it so i'm going to use this patch tool to go through all this image i'm not going to introduce another tool yet just the patch tool so just to finish the upper part of this image i'm going to fast forward a bit This is like the the difficult part of the image because the the stain, the oil, the baby oil from her body it's almost everywhere where she's sitting now because it rub off the um, seamless paper. So what you want to do this time around is you start building it up carefully. What you do is you pick the problem area that has the less problems and go to the clean area. You make sure that you create a base so that when you get to a difficult area, there will be plenty of things for you to drag to. So I will just clean this side of the image. just the past two you can see all these problem areas all these problem areas all of it gone we just the past two now it's time for us to introduce another two i think here let's let's try let's try the spot healing brush just not too big drag it over the problem area and leave it and see let it do the work for us yeah like that so this will just help us clean the area where the past two cannot really go into.
we've used the spot healing brush to remove this blending that part two did not do properly so the spot healing brush has helped us fix all those little repetitive patterns all over the background so now it's time for us to introduce another another tool this time around let's use the clone stamp tool so duplicate a layer then clone stamp tool you just want to you want this at very low flow so it will help you blend properly so what you want to do is after clicking on the clone stamp, clone stamp tool you reduce it to the size you want to take care of for example this particular place let's click and blend click and blend can see you've messed up the skin a little bit so you want to just click on the eraser tool and just gradually paint back just the edge just the edge and we're good so if you zoom a little toggle back and front you see the little and the subtle change that I've done so you can see how far we've gone from this place. Let's group this particular set of adjustment. You can see how far we've been able to edit. Now to further refine this, to further clean this more, we're going to merge all this layer into a single layer. Now I'll double duplicate the layer by pressing Command J or Control J on my keyboard. Then what I will do now is um, I'll make a selection of just her. So to make that selection, I'm going to click on um, the quick marks, the quick selection tool, sorry, quick selection tool, and I'll make a quick selection of her. After refining the selection, what you want to do this time around is right click and select in box. Now this is going to invest a selection. So um, what I would like to do is now paint. And this place I like to further let it go inside. So at this point I'll create a new layer. Pick my brush tool. Making sure that my flow is set to two, two. Then what I want to do is I want to paint over the image so um, what I will do exactly is I'll click the Alt on my keyboard Alt on my keyboard and I'll now brush I'll pick it I'll select a particular place pick pick and brush over the image So I'm using the selection to guide where I paint. So for this particular place, I just pick a darker area and just paint till I get a suitable blending. I think this is perfect. So for this particular place also i pick a dark area and i just subtly brush it out till i get a soft blend instead of the hard hard one that i have there before so for this main area this is where i want to really brush so i just pick brush
I've really done a lot. I clean it. So now I want to pick the eraser to eraser to just a little bit above. Reduce my flow to like uh, 40. I just gradually paint over the edges just to bring back the details around the edges. This will make it look more realistic. So I keep toggling back and forth between the brush tool and the eraser tool just to get a fine blend between the subject and the background. So let's follow the bit. So after all that, you just want to blend. You just want to merge all the layers. So you press Shift Alt Command E on your keyboard. What this will do is automatically blend the merge all the other layer into a single layer. So you go to Noise. This time I want to add noise. Then I'll go to Noise, Add Noise, and I want to add this. Maybe two. Two is okay, just to even out all the places that I've painted manually with brush. So as you can see, this is our before. Let me zoom out. This is our before. This is after. Before, after, before, after, before, after. You really don't want to be in a situation where you have to be cleaning background like this all the time. Um, there's a plastic. I don't know what what it's called exactly i don't know the real name of that plastic if you do please drop um the name in the comment below so we can all learn from that so there's a plastic you can lay over your seamless paper when you do lay this all the oil all the body oils uh, all the body oil from my body is going to be on that particular plastic so you're not going to have seamless paper stain all the time anytime you're shooting an image that looks like this all the time you're not going to have that oil over your seamless paper but I don't have that plastic and I don't even know what it's called but if I do I'm definitely going to get one just to avoid that oil from messing up my background every single time because you don't even in a situation where you have to clean 20 of these is going to really really be tiring so you don't want to be in that situation at all so let's go ahead and see the before and after of this image before after before after you can see the big difference of just cleaning up our background and the overall effect it has on this image thank you so much for watching if you want to get more free tutorial click on the button on your screen to subscribe and if you want to see the behind the scene of this particular video click on the link that just pop up now Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.